Hey guys, and welcome back to Production Line. We are here in episode three, and last episode, uh, we added some kind of more specialized production here of making horns as well as lights and uh, importing the raw materials rather than the actual horns and lights themselves, which I think did save us money. Someone mentioned in the comments of the last video, a good point is even though the raw materials are saving us money, are we um, spending more money on wages since we have these like in addition to this stuff and I'm not sure I don't think we can tell how much we're spending on wages uh, Well, I mean we can but like not per thing necessarily so It's kind of hard to tell but But there were some really really great comments a lot of great feedback from you guys in last episode which I read through and uh, I'm gonna try to implement because it was it was really good stuff. So First things first, there was another update. The devs seem to be very active, which is great. There's another update. You can notice we now have a, a time, which is something I mentioned last episode that I wish it was. So we have a time now, which is fantastic. Um, and there are some bug fixes and uh, performance fixes and stuff for larger factories, so on and so forth. So that's great. But we're going to get, get started here. Some of the feedback, and we just finished actually our research for this. So some of the feedback was that we should like because I, I was kind of questioning, remember last episode, like the advantages to actually having separate manufacturers for each. Like I, I didn't really know what the advantage was, like the fitting for each of them and stuff. Um, and people mentioned, like kind of explain the advantages, which makes a lot of sense. So, um, is it accessories we've done? Okay. So, we have these things, we can fit the things and make the things. So what people were talking about is kind of like direct insertion in Factorio in a way, is if we have these make lights, for example, like these here, um, instead of like conveying them like all the way to this stupid, like this thing, um, we could just uh, convey them like a very short distance directly to the fit lights area, and then do the same with the, the horns and the seats. And what this does, um, people explained, which I mean makes sense, is that not research, you derp. Um, on the accessories thing, right, we can only have one vehicle in here at a time, and the process takes 60 seconds, or 27 seconds, I think, um, for this one. But, uh, but yeah, so the problem is that we can only have one vehicle in here at a time. With these ones, with the specialized fitting things, um, we can have kind of three different vehicles being worked on for the fitting accessory thing at the same time, just different stages, if that makes sense. So like, you know, one vehicle can go through fitting lights and then when it moves on to fit the horn, a, a second vehicle can go on to fit lights and then when this moves on, they all move forward and you can have three going at once rather than one here. Um, and these all take, the, this takes six, seven and six, so that's 12, which is 19, I think, seconds total. So even with that, that's like a eight or nine second, uh, increase or decrease if you will from the time of this which is much better so we're gonna start with that we're gonna get some more research I think we want to start with the I mean we probably want to start with the chassis stuff I would imagine um, so that's researching we probably want more research I pause the game let's turn it back on and maybe more even research things would be good um, we're gonna run out of room here real quick but I want more research we're making pretty good money. Our cars are sitting there for a little bit, but they do sell off. I mean, we're obviously making a profit, which is good. Didn't go bankrupt like the first time I tried. I know export, you know, because again, this makes way faster than these things. So what we want to do is it doesn't make sense to have like this and the specialized thing. So we're going to just tear this up and rearrange. I'm waiting to bank a little bit of money because what we need to do is like tear this up, tear these up because I don't want them in this place. I guess I could, but it's gonna get super, super messy. So I like to position them so they can kind of almost uh, be as close to direct insertion as possible for this. And then we're gonna have the different accessory fitting stages. Now, the if these are in the correct order based on everything else, I guess fit lights first and then horns and then seats. And then the windscreen. Interestingly enough, we can't make the windscreen. We can make the seats and everything else. Is that just something I didn't get? No, it looks like it's just not an option to make it. So that's interesting. Huh. 
Um, so this car has gone through. I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tear this up. I think we have enough banked money to do this, hopefully. <laughs> Without going banked up, we'll see, guys. Um, so this is a mess. These are, this is not working. We really, really, we need to just revamp the whole thing. Like, this is just a disaster through here, to be honest with you. Um, this whole area. So, I kind of hate to get rid of all these materials. I mean, these are just materials that are going to go down the drain, really. Um, maybe we should, like, cut this off. Um, fuck. That was, sorry, sorry for the language, that, that was a, that was kind of a big mistake on my part. There we go. Because that's the export, I thought that was the import for a second. Derp. Alright, so this runs through here, this can still export. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially cutting off the import so we can empty this. Because I would like to use these, you know, horns and lights before we just get rid of them. Maybe we'd get the money refunded, but I'm not going to chance it because I don't know if they've implemented it that far. Um, and our research, ooh, our research is done. So now we can start getting these axle specialization fit front. Oh my gosh. You, I mean, you guys can see how complicated this gets. I mean, just for the axle, we, we'd have three different stages, the front, rear, and drive shaft just for that. Not to mention the manufacturing, and then we had to fit the fuel tank, and then for this thing, well, that's the engine, but still, I mean, like, this is, this is some complicated stuff. Alright, that's efficient resources, um, what are you waiting on? Brakes, yeah. So, uh, people also mentioned that part of the problem is because these only have a limited room to store stuff, they get clogged up with, like, some parts, and then don't have room for the other parts at the stage they need. Um, there is kind of a way to fix this. If you put in supply stockpiles, you can like order certain amounts and you hook them up and they're a much bigger stockpile. I'd kind of just as soon save that money though and build the specialization things. So I think we have enough money now. Um, these, well, this one's pretty much emptied. I'd really, really like to empty this as much as possible. Oh, well, this thing is like taking forever. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything. Is it, like, even importing stuff from here? Okay. This is still making resources somehow. Actually, I actually don't really understand how. How, how is this still making... I guess... Oh, because they just have the stockpile. So do they. Well, shit, dude. This is so many resources. I don't think we can get rid of this. Well, we'll just get rid of it. We'll see what happens. So I get 18 grand. How much did that cost to make? We may be able to calculate. Um, what was that? The lights one? Cost 30. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we got the money back for those materials, so that was a waste. But we just need to revamp this crap. Dude, I, I hate this. I can't. Okay. Um, this thing. Okay, so this is all backed up. We kind of need to fit all this. We really need to move this. Is there like... I don't think there's an option to move this stuff. See, that's a problem. I need to like move all of this elsewhere. Hmm. What do we do here, guys? I mean... I mean, really, we just need to revamp the whole freaking factory. Because even if, right, because even if I, like, fit the, do the specialization fitting thing here, when we want to do it back here, we're just going to have to move everything again. I feel like I, damn. I feel like it'd be better to just do the research first, but I don't want to sit here. Um, because this would be a good tryout, right, using this. I mean, it's actually waiting for a vehicle more than anything. Because even because if we do the specialization fitting, it's going to be waiting for a vehicle even more often because it goes through this process faster, right? And it's still going to be waiting on these processes, which take freaking forever. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do there. Okay, well, what if we just like build some off to the side? We can reroute this stuff. Okay, so for fitting the accessories, we need to make the lights. 
And I know I just got rid of it, but I want it in a more convenient spot. Let's actually, let's do the fitting things first. So let's rotate this. Let's do this guy like here. Boom. And then we want to fit the horn next. Boom. And we want to fit the seats. And we just need to tie, see, now that's interesting how that's on the other side. I don't know why they do that, just just to irritate me. Um, so that's that one. I know it can get a little bit confusing. Um, so now we need to make lights. Like, what if we made the lights, like, right next to it? I actually don't remember. I think that's the export. So that's a little bit awkward. Do we have import? We do have imports over there, but that's a bit silly. Um... So if I like do this, we can bring it across to that, and then this one, what's the make the make horn thing is uh that's this thing. Oh, so that's actually the export here. Oh. Well if that part's the export, then Pretty sweet. Okay. Uh but but Axle manufacturer, let's fit the fuel tanks first. I mean, we're, we're going through research pretty good. So then this guy. Oh, man. It's actually super convenient. This is getting really crowded. It blocks that, so we can't actually do that. That would have been pretty disastrous, actually. Um, if we do a fit... I know this is not... This may not be super entertaining. I apologize. But we got... I mean, we got to figure this stuff out together. So if this guy goes here, our import, I think, is over here. It's kind of weird, but... Um... God damn it, dude. Which one... So that's the export. Well, why... These are, like, not coded... Color-coded the right way. Like, I'm telling you, dude. Well, fuck. <laughs> Guys, darn it. Alright, well, then that thing's the export. I was just looking at the color, like... I don't know, man. This is really frustrating. Um, I guess we'll just do that. So that's the export, that's the import. So we make the horns, because see how this, the the part where the export is, it's the same, like, like, uh, scheme, same, like, pattern thing as what this was, except for that one is the import or something. It's really quite confusing, to be honest with you. So that's our export, so that goes boom, boom, and then for the uh, seats, we make the seats, and see, I can't, I don't know. This is so frustrating. I don't know which is the import and export, and it does matter. Oh man, that'd be great if I could do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I really have no idea. I, I, I guess we'll try that. And it's reversed. See, so, so this is an improvement the game could have. Um, you can't rotate it what's its place, so I'm just like blowing through my money because I can't figure out which... Like, is there an obvious thing? Am I missing something, guys? Like, is there an obvious way to tell? Because these both have the same pattern. There is literally no way to tell which one is the export. Until you... Until you place it, and then... Yeah. So this may look horrible, but what I'm trying to do is make this, like, as direct as possible, right? So, like, what, what would happen here is this guy would literally just do that. And then this one would go, like, not like that. Could we just... Could we, like... Kind of weird how it wants to like path around it. Um, so that just goes like that. Now are th these are these are connecting for, God knows what reason. Oh dear. See, so we need to stop importing that shit. Um, so then, if these come here, oh my gosh, what is with this thing, man? I want to go that way. I no, wrong. Maybe that's why, because it, like, interly <laughs> interlinks all this. This is such a mess. Oh, dear. What have I created, guys? I just want to get rid of it all again. This is a disaster. Um, do we, we don't have really an, a good import. I mean, we have an import over there, but... Shut up. Alright, let's, uh, let's get rid of that one. Get rid of all this crap. So what else is this supplying, then, is the question. This and all of this? Whoa, the hell?
hell kind of graphic is that? That's some weird looking stuff. Um, okay, so... I mean, they're importing from here, but that's less than ideal because now... Oh, Jesus, because now all this stuff is missing things. So we're just gonna we're just gonna cut this off. Bye bye. You can just disappear. Um, you know, because we don't want stuff like importing like way on this side, right? Over to here. Um, so this can import through here. If I actually connected this, that's kill. Not that you. Okay, so that takes care of that one. This should come in here. Um, I don't even know where our fitting things are at this point. Uh, okay, so now let's get rid of this fitting accessories thing. We're going to have to reroute this. So this thing's actually going to have to move, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, that's the fit electronics. Let's just redo all this. Let's pause. Probably should have paused in the first place, huh, guys? Uh, okay, so you're gonna go like that. You're gonna import that. Our electronics doohickey. Um, if I put it here, see, that still won't work. So I actually need to move all of this forward. Which, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, these things are not, not that expensive, really. And I know this is probably a huge waste of money right now, but... We're, we're testing it, right? We, we might end up having to start over. I don't know. We'll see. But this goes here now and connects like that. And then this one, if we get rid of that, this one can come... So this goes here. Uh, I mean, I could draw from here. That's a little weird. I'd almost prefer to just go like that. Now, I don't know how the game... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know how the game logic's going to handle that. Um... There we go. All right, so the cars are going through here. Um, this guy's waiting on resources because what? What is? What is he waiting on? Actually, running, waiting on resource. What, what do you mean you're waiting on resources, dude? You had the stuff, right? So if I speed this up, I want to see and like this thing too. See, see. So this is a problem. Um, research is going fairly decently. Okay, so here's the deal, right? So this guy's fitting the horn, the f f fitting the lights, which we make here. But what can happen now is we can have three cars going in, right? So while this guy's doing that, I mean, if we weren't waiting on these things forever. Um, next slot requirement not met. Fit windscreen. Son of a bitch. Fucking hell. Come on, guys. Why don't you tell me? <laughs> I, I forgot to fit the windscreen. Ooh, an aircon system. Um, will this fit here? And what if I got rid of that? We're just gonna. Is it gonna fit the windscreen here? That's fine. Um, sure. Uh, next project. Okay, so we got that. We got that. Now we just need to make the axles, and we should be good to go for that first bit. I really should just get all this research first. Oh well. Um, so we do have to import the windscreens. I don't see an option to make them, which is a little bit weird. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, I think we're doing okay, guys. I mean, we fixed this. No export. Well, yeah, no shit. Um, see, now the ratios are wrong, too. I messed up the ratios. These take six seconds to make the seats, but the fitting the seats take... Oh, no, it's a one-to-one. -one. Okay, no, we're good. The reason it's... Uh, is we're, These just take forever. We're just waiting on these. I mean, these things take six seconds, and this takes 55. So this takes almost ten times as long than this one. So that's why we need to break all this down. So I think what I'm going to do is between this episode and next, I'm just going to chill here, stock up money, and just knock out research. Because, um, I mean, I don't think you guys want to sit here for however long it takes to do all this research. Um, but because what we need to do, right, is we need to research the ability to make all these parts and fit all of them independently. Um... So we need this one. These are extras. We do need more robots and stuff too. Um, and then we need the engine ones as well. Which is, I mean, this is so complicated. You can see why we would need to actually buy like all of these. I mean, this this can get super, super complicated. Talk about a logistics nightmare, man. This is this is like a, 
I mean, this is a spaghetti factory. I mean, this is pretty much a spaghetti factory already. But it's so much fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, it seems like you guys are enjoying it as much as I am, which is great. Um, okay, so... I mean, I did start a research, right? Yeah. It takes 800. I don't know if these are minutes. Must be minutes. Alright, because 20. So, not, uh, I would assume. Yeah, so, these are minutes. Actually, that wouldn't make sense, would it? What the hell kind of clock is this? Like, okay, right? So, this takes six, seven seconds. But if you look. It, at the speed we were going, the minutes were ticking by like as fast as a real game or a real, a real life second. But maybe this this maybe this means like real life seven seconds in game seven. Some, something doesn't correlate here, <laughs> unless I'm just an idiot. You know, I mean that seemed like really fast, and it wouldn't make sense for these to be minutes because, I mean, unless it like rolls over into an hour or something. I don't know. But I think that might do it for this one. I don't know how much time we're at. We're at 21 minutes. So this was an interesting episode. I uh, now there was a lot of fumbling. I'm still learning the game. I mean, this is my first time playing this game. Um, so, you know, anything I know is pretty much just a transfer, knowledge transfer from Factorio, the general concepts, and then watching a few videos of this from other people, and that's about it. Um, and, of course, you guys. I mean, you guys have been extremely helpful. So, please, any tips or suggestions... Um, please leave in the comments, like last video, what you said was really helpful um, for like figuring this stuff out. I really appreciate it. It's great to have the discussion going. I love chatting with you guys. But uh, I think we're going to call it for here. This is just such a mess, I'm telling you. <laughs> and this didn't work out quite how I would have liked. Uh, I think we may end up tearing this up or just redoing all this once we have the ability to get all those uh, things fit individually. But anyway, that'll do it for this one, guys. As always, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.